Welcome to Aviate Alaska uh, and Titan Aircraft. I'm here with John Williams, the owner of Titan Aircraft uh, in Austinburg, Ohio. I had the passion for for aviation. I, you know, since I was, you know, uh, probably three years old when I remember looking at P, watching P-51 Mustangs fly through uh, from from the Air National Guard flying around Ohio. Oh, geez, the Mustang. Uh, when when uh, again, my my passion was always the the uh, P-51 Mustang. So I I wanted to to build this. So probably through the 90s while we're doing while we're building. Uh, as many tornadoes as we as we can. We were and we were very busy with that, and uh, but but I still every chance I got I'd, I'd look at, at things on the, on the Mustang, um, um, but but there were several false starts on the on the Mustang where where I tried to uh, I tell the guys we're going to get going on the Mustang, and and something else would get in the way. Well, one of the things that got in the way was the S model. And another thing that got in the way was the SS model, <laughs> and uh, so so these these things you know so you'd have to spend your engineering time on that rather than, but we did uh, we managed to to put together a one of the, a couple of things that I wanted to do from a conceptual standpoint was the uh, was the flat sides on the uh, on the fuselage, and and I wondered if that was really going to because the, the, on the original Mustang. There is a very, uh, it, they're almost flat, but they're not perfectly flat. And uh, so, so I thought, well, if we, it, it's easy to, it's a lot easier to make it flat. And will that work? Will it look right if it is flat? So, so I actually, we did, we built a mock up with, uh, and I, I decided because we used round tubing on, on all of the, the tornado stuff, uh, I wanted to, to go to, um, uh, square tubing because I, I thought I w we could simplify our fixturing uh, from a manufacturing standpoint. So, and so we, we I built up a, uh, a, a mocked up a, a fuselage, put put skins on it, flat sides and so forth, and it looked great. You know, I thought, well, this this is going to work. So, uh, so so that kind of proved one one of the points. One of the, one of the most difficult things on the on the Mustang was. Was deciding what what airfoil to use. And I, I had looked at the 2300 series airfoil, but I I just didn't like the, the stall characteristics characteristics on the 2300 series. So I was I was looking for something you know something else. <coughs> I <coughs> I love the tornado. Uh, uh, the stall characteristics on the tornado wing, but but the the tornado has has one thing that that I didn't want on the on the uh, Mustang. And that was that it has a real narrow drag bucket, and what it, what that means is it has a real narrow, low drag area. From the drag changes very quickly, and and when that uh, uh, so so as you're when you go into a turn with a, let's say a standard rate turn with a with a tornado, you lose a lot of speed if you know just just keeping everything you know, keep the power settings and everything the same. So. Um, uh, in, in a dogfighter, you don't want that. You want you want something that's uh, uh, that has a, uh, as wide an uh, range of angle of attack that, that you can get, or a, 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 a wider drag bucket. So, when uh, when I started looking at different airfoils, I, I really couldn't find anything that I wanted. And someone uh, said to me at some point, "Hey, have you ever uh, have you heard about the riblet airfoils?" And I said, "No." And they said, "Well, yeah, Riblet, this this Harry Riblet, uh, developed this series of airfoils, and uh, and it might might be something there you're interested in." So, uh, so they they said he actually published a book that the EAA sells. So I I got I ordered the book from the EAA, and uh, and of course at that time this is back in the late '90s, and and. Uh, so I, I looked at the, uh, at, you know, I went through his airfoils. Boy, and I, I saw all kinds of them that, <laughs> that, that looked good. And uh, 
So I actually was able to call Harry Riblet. Uh, he was still alive at the time. I called him and, and talked to him, very personable, very, very helpful. And, and I kind of settled on, I told him what I was trying to do, and, and we both agreed that this one airfoil would probably work uh, for, what, for what we wanted to do. But, and I said, well, who's using it so I can talk to him? He said, well, no one. <laughs> I said, well, wait a minute. He said, this is just, this is just uh, uh, com computer generated and, and simulated. I said, yeah. And, and uh, so, so now you don't know if it's, if it's really going to do what, what he says it's going to do. So... Fortunately, I had the tornado, and the tornado was being a Hershey bar wing. It was very easy for me to build build a, a wing using that airfoil because I only had to make one die for one rib because all the ribs were the same, and then the rest of it's pretty simple. So, so I I, I actually built a wing. In fact, the wing's right over there. That uh, that was uh, a uh, would go fit on the tornado, but it was a. Uh, um, uh, a riblet airfoil, and and I figured, well, I can fly that. I can put it on a tornado, fly it, and do all my measurements and find out if it really does what he says it's going to do. So we did that, and and I flew it, and there's no question. I mean, it did exactly. I mean, it came. I couldn't believe how close it was to his uh, predicted numbers. So uh, so then I, uh, when we started to do that, I was very confident when we did the uh, wing for the for the Mustang that it was going to work as well as it did. So that's, that's, uh, that, that took that, that big hurdle, uh, uh, helped with that. So, um, so then, uh, uh, I guess <laughs> then it was a matter of just getting going on, on this thing. I, I decided I have to do it now. So, so shortly after Oshkosh, and in fact, it was August, I think 29th, 20, 27th or 29th of, uh, uh, 2001. I took uh, the four guys in the in the company that I wanted working on the project. I took them to lunch, and I said, "When we go back from lunch, you guys are not working on anything else but the Mustang. Not, I don't I don't care what happens. You're, you guys, because we had other people that were working on other things. So you guys, but you guys strictly in in uh, 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 as uh, Randy Engel, uh, Greg Anderson, um, geez, Guy Truex, uh, well, really in, in myself. But, but I also brought this guy in from, um, from Calgary, Dan Hawken, who was, uh, who, who was the guy that built that, that original, uh, had, had, had done that. And I, and I told him that if he helped with the project, I would uh, give him the first kit. So, so that's, uh, that, that's what happened there. So he, he was actually, he did come down and help. I don't, you know, from a, uh, because he had kind of been through some of the stuff before. He, he, was, he was helpful and we got to be, uh, be uh, pretty tight, but it was, uh, but it was, we worked, we worked our butts off on, on that airplane. So what happened was we, we went back to, to work and of course probably things would have been interrupted except that two weeks later we had 9-11. And with 9/11, the phones just quit ringing. You know, th people people went into hibernation. You know, so it actually allowed us the gave us the uh, the time to to put that effort into developing this. So by um, it was actually um, well, I, I wanted to actually get the airplane to uh, to Sun and Fun that year. So in April, we we actually. Uh, uh, I wanted it to be finished by that time, but it was almost. But we took it to, to Sun and Fun anyway, and, and it was so close to being finished, and we put it on display. And uh, uh, the uh, so, so in, anyway, it, it, it you know people people looked at it. There was a lot of a lot of interest in it. We took it, brought it back, and it was actually May when I flew it, did the uh, first flight in it. So it was a, a month later. So it actually took us about nine months to to develop the, the, uh, the Mustang.